My name is Mike Susi. Uh, we are Revolve. We're based out of Boulder, Colorado. And what we do is bring uh, the smart home to your, to your smartphone. The smart home is actually the onset of devices that are connected that can be controlled essentially through our wireless devices like our phone, be it iOS or Android. Um, there's a level of intelligence or sensors that uh, can enhance our life essentially. In home automation, there's unique uh, challenges, like for instance, locks. Um, they typically don't have a power supply, therefore there's different wireless languages. So a lot of them are Wi-Fi um, or maybe Bluetooth, and some are some obscure protocols or, or languages, uh, like Z-Wave or Zigbee, which most consumers don't know, but uh, they're speci specifically low energy uh, languages, essentially. So our particular product is a, is a hardware hub, and it has seven different radios in it that can talk to all these different devices, depending on what language they speak, if you will. So if you have a lock, a light, a thermostat, a Sonos, um, each one of those has its own app, but they can't work and talk with one another. So what Revolve really comes in and does is it unifies that experience. It provides uh, a single application to control all of those devices, and then adds some ambient intelligence in the background to work around your lifestyle. So when you open up our box, you'll get a getting started card that gets you set up in two minutes or less. One of the challenges in manufacturing and getting uh, dumb devices on a network is how do you get something that has no keyboard onto your Wi-Fi network? It's not like a laptop. So we've created a really unique patent pending way to do this. Again, your smartphone is already on your local Wi-Fi network so we can already ping your SSID and pull it up. Just put in your password, hit the next screen, and our instructions are we have a little photo cell, a photo transistor right in the center there. And it says, just hold this over the top, and it's now sending the SSID and password. Within 30 seconds, this has now joined your local Wi-Fi network. Once this is connected to your local Wi-Fi network, it sees devices that you already have on your network. So for instance, your porch light, we can turn it on and off. It's typical home automation, right? Maybe we want to go to our IP-based camera, and then we can see what's going on in the backyard, right? We tap into your Sonos playlist, hit play, and we have music. Or how about the Philips Hue? This was recently released LED lights where we could change the color of our lights, right? With our own user interface, it's different than, than the, uh, the Philips Hue. But as I, as I mentioned, this is all really cool. We're, we're unifying all these cool electronics, but what's really cool is, it, is ambiently automating things around your life and your lifestyle. So we set up a little demo here around uh, our GeoSense technology. And the whole theory here is, is that you've, you're gone for the day, you've locked down your home. You're at, you set your temperature to uh, 64 degrees, which is a uh, comfort level. When you're leaving, you want it in energy conservation, right? Now, as you're coming home, you get to the first radius, we tie into the weather services to know how cold it is outside. And we figure out how long it's gonna take and automatically adjust your thermostat on your way home. This is all with the phone in your pocket. You never have to pull it out and automatically press these buttons. So the next step is when you're in line of sight to the house. All of a sudden, we send a signal to the cloud. And usually, the porch light will come on. We get, sometimes get some interference at the show that, uh, yeah, there it goes, so it took a second. So the porch light is on. As you pull up the driveway and park the car, we can do multiple things. Set your mood lighting, turn on the music, unlock the doors, three things happen, all with your phone in your pocket. You walk in the door with groceries, you don't have to fumble in the dark anymore.